Thales South Africa is part of the Thales Group. We're based in South Africa in Midrand. We have a total of 160 people. We have a full range of services ranging from design to marketing and support. We're proudly South African and we have a whole range of products. Some of the products that we have is the one behind me, which is an automated mortar fire control system. Uh, we also have an artillery system called uh, uh, the AS4000, which is uh, popular in South Africa with the South African Defense Force, especially the Army. We also have another product which is called Tactical Intelligence deployed in the Kruger Park. So we're proudly South African, we manufacture our own products and we have listed this in the global portfolio of Thales. The Scorpion was mainly developed as a light automated mortar system, well suited for the support of mechanized infantry in a, in a light support role, as well as for special forces use uh, raid operations the platform, and it was specifically designed to be not dependent on the vehicle itself. We got a simple uh, cruiser type vehicle which was fitted with a platform relatively quickly and you use what is available to you. It is a self-contained automated mortar system. You can also acquire the targets from the vehicle. It's got its own onboard sighting system, but you can also employ uh, dismounted observers to acquire targets beyond line of sight and engage those targets. It's a manual loading system. Once the ta target has been acquired, the tube has been laid uh, automatically. The charge is calculated at the fire control system. Then the bombs is manually uh, fired as you normally would do with your standard conventional mortars. Seven point six two millimeter machine gun. If you look at the old traditional machine gun, the uh, SA seventy seven was a reliable gun. So we maintained a lot of those features, but focusing on capability, adaptability to fit tactical attachments to it. It enables you to do night firing, laser pointers, telescopes, virtually anything you like. You can be able to fit on it. If you start from from the front portion. You have a more elegant flash hider. The barrel is a fluted barrel on the outside to reduce weight. And having a flow line, a free floating barrel, we have air flowing from the side as well as in your front grip portion. You have a lot of wind going through cooling or maintaining low temperatures. Furthermore, if you look at the Picatinny rail on the top of the cover, that enables you to fit night scopes typically, or normal telescope. Night fighting capability is becoming more and more important. Furthermore, looking to the back, we've got a telescopic back, but to cater for the different percentile persons. People are longer and shorter, just to make it more easier. Weight-wise, we have reduced the weight from the traditional machine gun from a 10.32 kilograms to a mere 8.4 kilograms. The far right is your DM42, it is a patrol mortar, quick in action, quick out of action. Line of sight, direction, you could go it over the barrel. Indicator on your sight enables you to determine your distance, set your, your specific distance and charge. Spirit level, it's also illuminating at night time, enables you to fight both during day as well as night time. Range we have increased from a 1,000 meter to a almost 2,000 meter. So it's still a lightweight, quick reaction mortar. Your direction you will determine by swiveling it on the base plate to get your general direction. Remember, it's a direct line of, of sight. On this site, if you look here, you will see the indicators, your distance, your charge. This the closest one to us is the DM43, also 60 millimeter mortar. There we are looking at a lightweight long range mortar. Increased range from 2,000 meter to 4,000 meter. You're looking at a conventional mortar. The barrel length <coughs> is exactly the same as the DM42. You can even consider buying a DM43 with a conversion kit. The conversion kit would then consist of your sight, and the small base plate. Reason for the conversion kit would typically be 
depending on your soil. If you've got soft soil, it is better to use a triangular base plate in a conventional roll. If you have proper soil, the high mobility, quick in, into action, quick out of action capability you can get with a DM42 conversion kit. We have added a, a red dot site on the, on the front to enable the youngsters to get onto the target and set up their fire arc quite easier. Yes, Ratnik is the system uh, which includes some elements, all these elements, and we supply it to Russian army. Здесь представлено два варианта экипирования российского солдата. Один вариант это обычный стрелок, и второй вариант стрелок разведчик. This is two variant of combat equipment. This is the general soldier, and this is the soldier for desert uh, uh, conditions. Each of them has a helmet. Uh, it provides protection out of fragments and it has a weight of uh, 1 kilogram and uh, 100 grams. The helmet uh, is designed and uh, developed by our company. Also for ice protection there is a, a special goggles and for chest and back protection there is armor plates. You can also use uh, packets for uh, some stuff, what you need uh, in uh, real conditions. Also has a modernized Kalashnikov assault rifle. Uh, the color depends on uh, conditions, maybe it's forest or it's desert. This is our control complex, uh, which uh, provides intelligence and control uh, uh, systems. There, there is a connection system and a system of uh, satellite navigation. Uh, the boots, this is the light version, special for uh, desert conditions, uh, and this uh, version, demi-seasonal boots. This is a signal lighter. Okay, it has different uh, colors. Um, soldiers can connect by each other by um, radio or voices or uh, with help of text messages.